Hi, my name is Mike Enriquez, and I'm the author and presenter of the Toughest Stuff CT Registry Review Seminar. Today's Some Things to Know lecture has to do with a topic in quantitative analysis called CT Calcium Scoring. Now, CT Calcium Scoring is a non-invasive technique used to obtain information regarding the presence, location, and extent of calcified plaque in the coronary arteries. CT calcium scoring examinations or evaluations results in a calcium score referred to as an Agatston score. Now that Agatston score is a number that represents the extent of calcium deposits in the walls of the coronary arteries. And when we look at the chart to the right, we see what that Agatston score is all about. At a score of zero, no coronary artery disease is thought to be present. At 1 to 10, there's minimal evidence. At 11 to 100, there's mild evidence of coronary artery disease. And at 101 to 400, moderate evidence of coronary artery disease. Over 400, that's the extensive evidence category. Now, the Agatston score, or calcium score, is used to predict myocardial infarction. With the cal CT calcium scoring evaluation, radiation dose is highly variable. It's approximately 1 to 10 millisieverts, depending on how the examination is conducted. Also, in being used to predict for myocardial infarction, other maladies may be revealed, having to do with disease of the coronary arteries and the potential fixes that could potentially be employed. Something as benign as aspirin or statin therapies, more advanced like stent therapy, or even coronary artery bypass graft therapy. My oh my. At any rate, that's CT calcium scoring. Thank you for your time and attention. For more information about things that are relevant to your CT registry exam to help you pass on your first attempt, make sure you see www.radprof.com and take a look at my online on-demand webinar approved for 16 Category A CE credits and satisfying the ARRT structured education requirement. Bye now.